Hello everybody, this is Nicole with Help Mama Remote and I am on my way to um, do a grocery haul at Aldi. I need to return something at Walmart and I need to go into Walmart too. So I am doing a freezer stock up this summer. Um, I haven't been getting a lot of like grocery. I'll go like weekly, pick up some things. I haven't did like a big haul and our freezer is empty. Both freezers. We have like a really large freezer we then have a small freezer like for quick foods but our freezer what the meat in it is barren so i need to stock up our freezer today and um i need to drop some stuff off at the post office that's my first stop this morning um to drop off some packages at the post office and then there's a aldi right by i'm gonna stop at that aldi yep so i'm just gonna get some things done today freezer meat or frozen vegetables will be going in the deep freezer um, okay so I'm gonna start over here I have some shaved beef steak I use this um, with like some Italian sausage and make like um, combo bowls so I have two packs of this um, I have some beef for carne piccata um, I have two packs of those I usually have those for taco or um, a one pot meal. I have some thin assorted pork chops and some pork shoulder steak. Here's the um, mild Italian sausage that I usually um, add along with the shaved Italian meat. I have four bags of frozen broccoli florets, um, three bags of super sweet corn, Two of these turkey um, sausage, like these for like breakfast. Two bags of frozen green beans. Have a bag of corn on cob. Now pick this up from Walmart. Here is a uh, what is it at? Here's a pork beef, a pork. Here's a pork butt roast. I have two bags of frozen blueberries or smoothies. Uh, one, two, three bags of frozen chicken thighs. Two bags of seasoned fries. Two bags of these chicken strips. I like to put them in an the air fryer. I'll add them like some chicken taco or just use them with some um, ranch for a quick um, lunch or something. Here are one, two, I got four bags of frozen chicken tenderloins. There in the back, I have a bag of mixed berry and two bags of strawberries, and those are for the smoothies. Um, I picked up a bag of chicken nuggets from Walmart. I have four bags of frozen chicken breast, some turkey breasts like for lunches. I have two packs of turkey bacon, and I'll like sometimes keep one out um, and then put like the other or put both in the freezer until I use them for breakfast. I have some thick sliced bacon. I'm trying to cut back on bacon and eat the like the um, pork bacon, fried bacon like every month. And then we eat the turkey bacon on a daily or whenever I cook breakfast. I picked up a small um, thing of ground turkey because I'm going to make some crock pot lasagna today. And I didn't want to use like a really large one. I picked up three of these brown turkey. 85% um, lean, 15% fat. So these are all the things that will be going in the deep freezer. Okay, so here are all the freezer items. Okay, so now this is a combination of um, the other things I needed from Aldi and Walmart. So I guess I'll start over here. Now, majority of this stuff over here is Walmart and then everything else is Aldi. 
So I picked up these um, Toa House mini chocolate chip cookies. I love these for like a late night snack sometime to put them in the oven. Um, I picked up some Cajun 15 bean soup to replace some that I used. A bag of Fruity Pebbles. I got some mini um, Orville Redenbacher's popcorn. Got some Welch's fruit snacks. I picked up two um, street tacos. These are the flour. I like the flour um, for Taco Tuesdays. And I picked up some long grain parboiled rice. Um, this is the rice I've been getting. I am I fail every time I try to make some right white rice, jasmine rice, but the parboiled rice turns out awesome. Um, especially if I'm like making like a fried rice. Um, it doesn't get mushy. So I picked up three bags of the parboil rice because a lot of the time Walmart is out of it. So I wanted to make sure I had some. I picked up two boxes of the um, oven ready lasagna. I'm making a crock pot lasagna today. And I wanted to make sure I had enough. Um, okay, that's from home. I picked up some mozzarella cheese. This is also for um, the crock pot lasagna. I tried to get everything that I needed for the lasagna. I didn't want to take away from the grocery, so I bought um, a box of lasagna. I bought, um, you know, the ground turkey and, you know, everything to not take away from the grocery list. All right, so in their deli section, I picked up some um, pre-sliced salami, hard salami. Some buffalo chicken breast. Cajun turkey breast, some American cheese, and some Kobe Jack cheese. Okay, also picked up some creamers, um, the pumpkin pie spice, zero sugar. I didn't want the zero sugar, um, but <laughs> I got it because I wanted a different flavor for my coffee. Um, French vanilla. Okay, I only picked up I had I picked up two of these, but one of them was bust when I got to the register. So I just have one here. Um this chicken flavor hot and spicy noodle. Oh, um, like if I make that um like that piccata meat or like taco meat, um, if I added like some meat to this, like for a lunch, oh it is so delicious. So I just got one. I'm trying not to trying to cut back on like the some of the snacking, nighttime snacking or other snacks. Okay, picked up some Quaker oats. I got the box of um, 60 Keurig coffee cups. This is the dark roast. Some Eggo mini waffles, you know, like an easy breakfast for kids before school. Picked up some Capri Suns. And I picked up some cranberry raspberry juice. Um, the Dawn Power Wash Spray. This is the lemon scent. And I got some more um, Dawn dish soap. Um, okay. This is all. Um, picked up some toaster strudel and some hot cocoa, Swiss cocoa mix. And if anything else I run into that is Walmart, so just, I'll just add it on. Oh, yeah. I got some freeze pops. Some of those. All right, so now the rest of the stuff I got from Aldi, I got some graham crackers, some unsalted butter, cream cheese, um, the black cheese, some Kobe, and some sharp cheddar. I like to keep these on hand, put them in the freezer, and when I run out of shredded cheese, I have some on standby. So this is why I'm, I like the black cheese. And it's um, a little, I don't know what the ounces are, eight ounces compared to, um, I guess a smaller bag, if I get it like an eight ounce bag, it's pretty much um, comparable, but for the big bag, it's different. But just in case I run out, I got some provolone slices for sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches, sharp cheddar cheese, shredded, I some um, beef jerky, my youngest. I think both of the kids like beef jerky. So, got some beef jerky. My dog used to eat these. Ooh. So, every time I see beef jerky, I think about him. Uh, 
milk jelly sour cream these pretzel bites pepper jack pretzel bites i'm hoping these can go in the air fryer they say oven roasted but probably go in the air fryer maybe a little nice snack there got some three jars of spaghetti sauce I don't know if I said potatoes, but I got some potatoes, some cumin. Um, I like to make my own taco seasoning sometimes when I run out of taco seasoning. So I got some cumin to have on hand and some lemon pepper, grape seed oil. That was my daughter's request, I guess, when she cooks. Um, she likes to <laughs> cook, so she, yeah, she asked for some grape seed oil. Um, evaporated milk. I got two cans of that. Some olive oil spray two things of unsalted cashews this is me and my husband when we were working at our desk each of us have one so this is what we'll snack on um just try not to eat too many sweets but this is my sweet treat some milk chocolate butter cookies absolutely love those some baby cucumbers some lime for guacamole and whatever else we use it for some ramen noodles grapefruit i got these i don't know if i got these from walmart probably got the grapefruit from walmart i don't even remember i have some red onion i like red onions in our salad some yellow onion cheese it's cranberry juice some organic almond milk my husband uh, likes he's been getting one from walmart but i tried and wanted to see if he would like this one from Aldi. I got some portobello um, caps and um, I got two and I'm going to try to make my husband, he can't eat bread, so I'm going to try to make like some sandwiches and see if he like it. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Some radishes, eggs. Now I don't know if you all noticed that Aldi got new cartons. And the first time I picked up one of the cartons, an egg fell out. And I was like, that's not my fault. <laughs> so today when I was checking out and the cashier picked up the um, carton, an egg fell out. And I'm like, mm-hmm, these aren't good cartons. The eggs fall out the side. So be careful if you all see these um, eggs that y'all make sure, you, you know, just to be careful so your eggs won't fall out before you leave the store. Um, I got some Brussels sprouts, two bags of those, pretzels, chopped kale, we absolutely love kale, I'm not a fan of it in my smoothie, but I'll make kale like I make, like, mustard and turnip cream, so I got kale, we got Roman lettuce back there, have some mushrooms, I got two of those, celery, cilantro, some onions, Carrots, baby carrots, tomatoes. Um, we didn't garden this year. We had a lot of outdoor projects that we needed to take care of. And so we missing tomatoes. We missing our vegetables this year. So um, I bought some tomatoes. We got two things of strawberries. The girls like those. Grapes, bananas. Now I got one that, you know, looks really nice, right? They look pretty. And these look ugly. And I love for them to go really ripe like and then I'll put these in the freezer and those will be what I use for my smoothie um got some spinach some avocados again to make guacamole and I think I got all of that over here now going over to this side uh this is all my bread and so I got some mini nons. I like to use these for little pizzas. I love their artisan um, flatbread. Delicious for pizzas. Um, I wanted to try some different, like some real fancy pizzas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I usually get two of these and they're two crusts in each pack. And I put these in a the freezer. They freeze well. With no problem. Also, the new ambulance, they freeze well with no problem. Okay, I got some wrap bread. Um, something else for lunches. This for lunch. I wanted to see if my daughter would like these for sandwiches for lunches. Bagels. Blueberry bagels. 
my, some of my bread got smushed. I got some deli rolls again for sandwiches. All the bread I will put straight in the freezer. Um, three of the buns are the bomb. Okay. Oh my gosh. Delicious for sound, breakfast sandwiches. Uh, and I'm not a bread, like I've never been a bread lover, but I think since I'm like cutting back on sugar, I'm like craving more bread. So I have to be careful with that. I have some honey wheat bread. I got two like this one, poor thing, got smashed. Croissant buns, I have never tried these, but again, I'm going to use these for breakfast sandwiches. Um, and like I said, I'll put them in the freezer and only when I need one, I'll take it out. So it won't go bad. And I got some mini bagels. So I think that is all, y'all. So that is my grocery haul. And my gosh, has the price of grocery gone up so severely? It's crushing. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching and um, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.